Yesterday, early morning on October 17th, I was in prayer with the Lord, and this time rather than a word that he gave me where he just talked, uh, we were having a conversation, and I wrote that down. Although it's personal in nature, he's asked me to share that, and so I'm going to go ahead and read that now. He told me to read the story of Nebuchadnezzar and how he was a beast until seven times had passed over. And he told me how that time was now coming to an end, and it was a new day dawning. Then he told me about the rebellion of heaven and the rebellion of Korah against Moses. And he told me that there was going to be another rebellion. And I asked him who and when. And he told me it was going to be the lukewarm, those that were not founded upon the rock, but upon the sand and that it was going to happen at the revelation of the sons of God. That it was going to be sorrowful, terribly, terribly sorrowful. You must fear not for the frightful things that fall upon the earth. The terror, the arrow, the pestilence, the destruction. Yes, it shall not come nigh you. Only my eyes will behold it? Yes, you will cry many tears. Oh, beloved, I don't cry easily. I know, my daughter, they will be my tears. My heart will break. My heart breaks within you, but you are fortified. It is an honor to bear your tears. You are lovely to me, my dove. You are everything and more, my banner. Zion is my banner, terrible and lovely. Lord, what about the new heavens and earth? It is time for it to come, but it too appears as a mustard seed. It grows as men feed it, perceive it, contemplate it, desire it. Just like the second birth, beheld through the veils, which strip away with toil and desire in pursuit of me and my ways. All things in God's kingdom grow the way of things, grow like the way of things in nature. Salvation, sanctification, redemption, after the new birth. These form and grow with use and perseverance. I was born as a baby, then I was a child, then became a man. God is not in a hurry and his timing is perfection. He hath long patience, even though the hour is upon you. Hurry and manipulation are impulsive, often rash, frequently erroneous and unlasting. Our Father builds you solid, on foundation, always. He sits and counts the cost, and He always has sufficient to finish what He begins. He is faithful and perfect. You know this, and you are becoming this. Forever faithful are you, my Lord. Shut out the voices of the world. For these are distractions, fears, shadows. They seek to color your world with doubt, fear, uncertainty. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the one true light who longs to cover you, fill you, shelter you in every way from the storm that rages without. Remember, you are in me. Imagine this as literally as you can. You are shielded, filtered, warm and dry, filled and peaceful. Nothing can breach this barrier, for I am the strength above all strength and the wisdom of everlasting. You are mine. I love you, Lord. Thanks for listening.